Alicia here with Terra Drift, and I'm all about sandals. You may have noticed, I talk about sandals a lot. In fact, if I never had to put my foot in a pair of stuffy old shoes ever again, I would be okay with that. Because when my feet get hot, I get hot. And then I get cranky. Just give me sandals, okay? But not just any sandals. I don't want flip-flops or like trendy going out sandals. I want multifunctional sandals I can adventure in. So I am always on the lookout for the perfect do-everything pair. And as luck would have it, I may have just found that exact sandal. The Karen Pro from Bedrock Sandals. Now there are actually three options in the Bedrock lineup. The Cairn Adventure Sandal, including the more sustainable Cairn Geo, the Cairn Pro, and the classic Hurachi-inspired sandal. And the Cairn lines are available with a classic footbed like this one and a 3D option. We tested out the Cairn Pro too. Why not the Cairn Geo with its 30% recycled Vibram outsole and reprieve straps made of recycled plastic bottles? I'll tell you. Because while we absolutely love the eco-friendly Geo, it's more suited to urban adventures than more rugged outdoorsy ones with its less grippy and less aggressive lugs. And since we want our sandals to be able to tackle whatever terrain we throw at them, we chose to test out the Cairn Pro 2. Why? Because it's designed for dry or wet adventures with its extra sticky Vibra Mega Grip outsole and the G hook and loop system that locks in the heel strap and the front strap for a super secure fit that won't slip off or come undone whatever you're putting them through. Rapids, hiking, zip lines, tree climbing, chasing after your adventure cat. Plus it has a minimalist footbed. And you know we're all about that minimalist footbed, which conforms to your foot for a superior ground feel, excellent flexibility, and great packability, which means they're the ideal sandal for, well, just about everything. Then there's the Vibram Mega Grip outsole. Not not only is it designed to perform in wet and slippery conditions, it's also resolable. Meaning if you wear those treads down, you don't have to get a whole new pair of sandals. You can just replace the sole. Super sustainable. As for fit, there are three adjustment zones to really dial in the right fit and feel for your foot. A G hook and loop strap on the inside top of the foot and the same hook system on the heel strap. Then there's the quick adjust strap on the outside. Use them all together to get the perfect fit for just about any foot, whether you're hiking, kayaking, rafting, exploring, or just walking around town. But what did I think of them? I actually love them. I was a bit worried about the toe thong component at first. I don't wear flip-flops more than a couple of times a year, so I was a bit concerned the webbing between my toes would be irritating. And while I did experience just a bit of flip-flop fatigue between my toes on the first few outings. That space between my toes, the toe pit? Is it a toe pit? Got used to it fairly quickly. I was also worried the sandals wouldn't feel as secure on my feet as other sandals, say Chacos or my Zero Shoes Z Trails, but wrong again. They felt like they may have actually shifted less on my feet than many other more robustly strapped sandals. I did spend the first week playing with the adjustments to see what felt right, so keep in mind that if they don't feel perfect right out of the box, you probably just need to loosen or tighten a few straps until everything feels all comfy cozy. But once you do, it's just a matter of loosening the one easy adjust strap and your Bedrock Karen Pros are on and off in no time. They're pretty light too. Not as light as a pair of Zero sandals perhaps, but they don't have to be. And they're much lighter and slimmer than Chacos or Tevas. In fact, I think they're just about the perfect balance between all of those sandals. See, I love my Zero Z trails and wear them often, but because they offer such a barefoot feel, they can be a bit uncomfortable on extremely rocky or gravelly trails. But Chacos are extreme in the other direction. They're big and heavy with solid soles, which is great for adventures where you want support and protection, but they're not particularly handy for fast and light travel. The Bedrock Karen Pro 2s, on the other hand, are slim and light enough to take with you wherever you go. They provide enough protection and separation from the ground, but are still flexible and minimalist so you can feel the ground beneath your feet. Plus, they look good doing it. I wore these not only on the trail, but in town with pants, shorts, a dress. I brought them along as my only sandal on a recent two-week road trip along the Texas coast, and they didn't look as much like out 
door shoes as a lot of other adventure sandals, which is probably a big draw for a lot of people. Personally, I don't care if I just look like I came out of the backcountry, because I probably did. Plus, I found them fairly comfortable. Not in the same way that squishy, supportive Tevas are comfortable, perhaps, but their Zero Drop have not quite a barefoot feel, but a very minimalist feel to them, which I like. And if you do tend to prefer a little arch support, well, the Karen Pro 2 3D has that. The footbed is flexible. I never had any trouble or discomfort hiking on rough trails or scrambling over large boulders. And my feet always felt very secure when walking over tricky terrain. Basically, I like them, and I think they might just be my go-to sandal for all manner of outdoor adventure this summer. I mean, they're basically the Goldilocks of adventure sandals, so yeah. As for sustainability, the sandals are made to last and designed to be resold to reduce waste, which is an excellent feature. It means you won't have to replace your sandals after one season, and that a lot fewer shoes are going to end up in the landfill. Bedrock is also a 1% for the planet member which means they donate 1% of sales to environmental causes. They also don't ship in a bunch of excess packaging, which is cool. The sandals will arrive at your door in just the shoebox with a shipping label, which is pretty great. Bottom line, the Bedrock Karen Pro 2 sandals, well, any of the Bedrock sandals, honestly, are a great, fairly sustainable adventure sandal designed for all manner of adventure from a company that loves the outdoors as much as we do. So feel free to go check out a pair for yourself. We'll put a link in the description below, as per usual. And yes, when you make a purchase with those links, you are helping support the channel. So thanks for that. If you have any questions about the Bedrock Karen Pro sandals that we didn't answer, feel free to drop them in the comments and we will answer them to the best of our abilities. Before you go make sure to hit like share and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos and gear reviews and outdoorsy updates and then check us out on terradrift.com where there's even more written content about sustainability in the outdoors give us a follow on the social channels too like i don't know instagram facebook twitter we're at terradrift on all of them drop us a note to say hello and as always get out there on the trail and wander on i like them a lot goldilocks sandal that's what they should be called the Goldilocks sandal. But they won't eat your porridge or sleep in your bed. So they're, you know, more considerate than Goldilocks. She was kind of a jerk, right? Like, how come nobody talks about that? Goldilocks was a jerk. She just broke into somebody's house and like ate their food and slept in their bed and messed up their seating area. Who does that? These sandals won't do that to you. They'll just be really good to your feet when you play outside. So there you go. You're welcome.